Alright, what's going on guys? It's Alex from Techrific back again with another video and right in front of us we have the iPhone 15 Pro. So today is another iOS 17 update video and if we head over to our settings right over here into general and about, you can see that this iPhone is running OS version 17.1.2. So we made a video on iOS 17.1.2 at the top right of our screen right over here. And if we hop over into software updates, you can see that we do have beta updates on iOS 17 public beta. And right in front of us, we have the release candidate version of iOS 17.2. So this is the beta version, it's the release candidate, which also explains why it is a thick file. It is 6.39 gigabytes, which is the average uh, size for most of the iOS 17.2 updates. And the reason why it is so heavy is because it is the final version before the official release that should be coming later next week. So just a quick overview of iOS 17.2. It's an update that introduces journal, an all new way to reflect on life's moments and preserve your memories. So this was released at the Apple event this year. They had talked about that app. And this release also includes action button and camera enhancements, as well as other features, bug fixes, and security updates for your iPhone. So if we head over to our Safari page right over here onto 9 to 5 5 Mac, you guys can see that this is the full iOS 17.2 release notes that was released today, December 5th at 10.54 a.m. Pacific time. So we're just going to glance through the notes to see kind of what we can expect in the iOS 17.2 update. So first of all, we do see a little update over the journal app. So it basically gives you a bunch of interesting features that come to this app. It's kind of like the Notion app, except it is Apple native. It is made for iPhones. Um, one special app or one special feature, I should say, part of the app right over here is the option to lock your journal using Touch ID or Face ID, which I find very nice because sometimes you have personal journals that you'd like to keep private, especially if your phone is in other people's hands and you don't want them accessing it. So that is a very good security option. Next up, we do also have the fact that journal syncs with iCloud and it is encrypted on iCloud. So let's say you do change to another device you will be able to retrieve your journal thanks to the iCloud ecosystem. Now, moving on to the action button, we can see that there are some feature enhancements. So the translate option for the action button on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max is now available. So before over here, if we were to go to settings and action button, we could toggle through different options that we could set our action button right over here as. Now my action button was set to the silent mode. As you guys can see, if I hit it right over here, you can see on the top right on the dynamic island that it is switching to the silence mode. If I head over to flashlight and I click the action button, you can see that my flashlight turns on and then I click it and it turns off. Let's say I do the camera. You can see that it brings me straight to the camera. I could switch the selfie. And there you go. What's going on, guys? I look kind of weird. But yeah, that is what it is. So now if I head over to um, the silent mode back to where I was at, we will have another option coming into iOS 17.2 where we will be able to access the app of translation. So that is what the action button enhancements on iOS 17.2 are. And that will allow you to also have a conversation with someone in another language, which is very useful. Now, moving on to the camera enhancements on iOS 17.2, we now finally have the new spatial video feature that Apple talked about in the app event this year, which lets you capture video on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max so you can relive your memories in 3D on the Apple Vision Pro that's coming out very soon. We do also have an improved telephoto camera focusing speed when capturing small far away subjects or objects, I should say, on the 15 Pro and Pro Max. We do also have a bunch of new updates for the Messages app, including some Memoji contact key verification 
and other beautiful features and filters that we will be checking out in another video. We do also have new widgets coming to the weather. So we will be able to see precipitation, meaning rain and snow conditions for a given day over the next 10 days. And we will also have a bunch of new forecasted wind, wind conditions for the next 24 hours. So more wind data, as well as an interactive moon calendar, which will easily let you visualize the phase of the moon on any day for the next 30 for the next month, which is very interesting. So this update also includes a few bug fixes and security fixes as we saw in the settings general software update page. So some of them right over here is some health data bug fixes as well as some airdrop improvements, which will also allow you to share boarding passes, movie tickets, and other eligible passes by bringing two iPhones together, which is really, really nice. So let's say you're at the airport and you'd like to send over to your family or your friend family member or your friend, a boarding pass or you're at the movies with your friends and they're on your Apple wallet, you will be able to send it over to them thanks to AirDrop, which is a very nice feature that many of us do already enjoy. And now there are some enhancements and bug fixes coming to that. We will also have a favorite songs playlist in Apple Music's, which will finally let you quickly get back to the songs you marked as favorites, just like we already have the favorite section in Spotify. We will also have listing history in Apple Music, which can be disabled in the focus, so music you listen does not appear in recently played or will influence your recommendations. There's also a new digital clock widget that will come for your home screen while in standby as well. We do also have new keyboard layout. We do also have sensitive content warning for stickers and messages, which will prevent you from being unexpectedly shown a sticker containing nudity or other inappropriate stuff, as well as QI2 charger support for all iPhone 13 models and 14 models. And Back in our iOS 17.1.1 video, we had talked about how certain vehicles did not support wireless charging. So it was told that in a future update that would be fixed. We do see a little improvement with iOS 17.1.1. And finally, it is a stable fix for that issue that was preventing certain vehicles from wirelessly charging. So overall, that is the iPhone update for iOS 17.2. I am going to head over and update that now. And maybe in the future, I will make a full video on my review for iOS 17.2 once the full version comes out later next week. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. It was a quick little ramble over iOS 17.2. It seems that you guys really enjoy these types of videos. So it is available to all iPhone XS and XS Maxes, as well as the iPhone 15 Pro Maxes, so anything between those two phones. So anyways, that has been Alex from Techrific. Make sure to go check out my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Reddit, Facebook, Threads. I think that's it, all at Techrific it is, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for stopping by.